Hey, Chris. Good to hey. see you. Hey, Rich. Monday, Monday, it's Tuesday. Gosh, it feels like a Monday. Tuesday. That's not good. That's not good that <laughs> I thought it was Monday week. and it's already Tuesday. Yeah. But, but it's build week. Know, look, so it's cool. build week. Yeah. Lots to look forward to there. Uh, lots to see. Lots of good announcements. I'm, a, I'm sure are coming. Uh, it's also, if you're looking at really far ahead to the end of the week, it's Memorial Day weekend here in the yeah. U.S. Yeah. So Memorial Day looking weekend. Looking forward to a nice long weekend. Which is actually at the end of May this year. Yeah. It's, it's on the, the 31st. Day. Yeah. Which is rare. Yeah. Because we uh, we move it around in the U.S. so that the Monday is off regardless of when it falls. So it could be like whatever. But yeah, it's a it's a key traditional like start of summer type holiday. Hopefully we all remember what what we're honoring. Um, yeah. While we're having a There's, hot dog or something, I suppose. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but they, they held out starting summer as long as they could, I guess, to get to everybody, as many people vaccinated so we can really get out there and enjoy the summer. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it was a slow start and I began to wonder how many months am I going to have to wait? And then it just accelerated and it was like, okay, come on down. So, uh, <laughs> Been done for a couple weeks for me now and my wife and I have a daughter who's not quite eligible, so not quite there yet. Oh, she's she, close. Yeah, she she's really close and she's old enough to understand. So she's very concerned, like she wants very badly for that age to get to her. And it even bums her out a little bit like I'm one year off and I go, yeah, see, you're working on it, kid. So. But hey, um, yeah, you know what? Ju- what the end of May means is June. And June is right around the corner. Almost halfway through 2021. That's crazy. <laughs> it, this has gone for me. And I was going to ask is I feel like my brain still feels like we just flipped the calendar. Mm-hmm. We're halfway. And I started thinking about we've done this before where we've talked about like our um, what do we want to do this year in terms of tech or programming? development and if i had a list of resolutions at the start of the year i haven't made any progress that's a little frustrating <laughs> a little bit yeah um yeah and i i've made some progress on some things which is good um but the problem that i keep running into is that list just keeps getting longer as we start talking about technology and we start talking about uh different different things that we want to look at and explore uh, and there's just more ideas to keep adding on to it. And, and we're going to have, as you mentioned, build. Sorry about that in the background. Oh, yeah. Well, that's how it goes, right? <laughs> let's, let's record that's something. How can you do it live? And then the and gardeners the, the will show nice up. The doors are open. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be another, you know, half dozen or so ideas that pop out of the session here. And it's like, hey, that'd be great to look at this or work on that. Um, the biggest thing for me is looking at or, or starting to going back to some of the Xamarin stuff. I know, you know, on the, on, on uh, the Dev Talk show, we had um, Sam Basu do the, yeah. the Maui discussion. Uh, and I really want to start digging into Maui and the UI components that are there, not only for, for .NET Core, but also for, for Xamarin. Uh, and start to build a couple of Xamarin apps related to that. Um, just, I'm, I'm sure I could go and find an app that would track uh, my GPS location as a kayak and measure the points as I as I run through and do it. But that would be, that's a a good practice app, I guess, to to kind of kick the tires on something. So that's kind of what I want to make sure I get done this summer. Yeah. Um, so I have a few things that I've wanted to do for a while. I've probably got and see this is what I should really do is I should write these down like post them somewhere so that they're real mm-hmm. is I have about two or three little apps that I want to build partially because they'll help me um, one of them is as I'm the treasurer for my little neighborhoods HOA mm-hmm. and uh, I have managed to do most of the HOA business in terms of like keeping track of residents accounts and so on on an Excel spreadsheet. And and frankly, that's fine. Like, mm-hmm. I learned a ton about Excel that I can even do little things such that uh, I, I put in, I enter into cells, these empty columns, I enter in check amounts and information about mm-hmm. the checks. 
and it counts the cells and so at the bottom it'll tell me how many checks that that have been have come in since the last and I can do this by deposit so I don't even have to count them I just go like well I got 13 that I'm gonna go deposit it's for this amount and then it'll go update the homeowner's balance and even color code it whether they're behind or on time and stuff Excel is fantastic like it's a little mini programming environment in itself but yes we've had some residents who have asked um, it would be cool if instead of you mailing these statements out to me, I'd be happy to receive them by email. Mm -hmm. um, some have asked if they could pay online instead of writing checks. If, for most of us in this community, it's the it's the only check we write anymore because everybody's taking online payments for everything. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to explore that and consider this is where I might step in and use Blazor and say, hey, I want to build a site that I it would be an admin site for me. And I'm the only person who can get into those functions. And then everyone in the neighborhood could come in and maybe see their latest statement. And then what I'd like for them to do is be able to check a box that's like they could sign up for emails. If you don't, we're the, I'm the kind of person that in our neighborhood, if you don't want to be part of this digital life, that's fine. I'm happy to send you a statement, whatever, put a stamp on it. But if you say to me, like, it would be more convenient if this came to my phone sign up for a text notification sign up for an email we'll let you know when the statement's available come look at it check a box to say you got it and that tells me not to mail it to you right and i thought you know do i have to do all of this no but it sounds like a cool project that would exercise things like blazer probably twilio uh-huh maybe uh, you know we have friends at twilio who um heck we could have on the show and certainly uh, friends that um, would love to see us, you know, integrating and talking about that platform. Yeah. And then I'd pick like a payment platform that we might think about. Um, our, our board has said like we'd look into it. So I feel like, hey, do I have to do it? No, but it might be a fun one. I think so. I think, you know, and, and that's, that's the same thing. Like the, the, the projects I, I mentioned, I don't have to do one. I can certainly find one, but it's, it's, if you're, you know, it's one of those things where if you're that motivated about the eventual outcome and it gives you an opportunity to learn the technology, then it's probably not a bad project. Right. Yeah. You know, and it sounds like in that case, both of us have something to, to kind of work on. So right. now that we've recorded it here. <laughs> yeah. You know, right. We'll come back the end of the year and see if we got to it and see how it went. <laughs> well, you know, one of the reasons I think the show works, Rich, is because I read this a while ago. It was from Doug Crockford, who is someone who uh, famous for writing JavaScript, the good parts. Yep. But, and sometime we're going to have to talk about uh, some videos. I'm going to have to go into the vault and find them. I think he has some of the finest uh, talks ever recorded about computer science that I, I need to get into a playlist somewhere. Um, yeah. He wrote once on his website about uh, his commitment to dieting and how he decided to blog about it and to make sure that his family knew about it because he said our our brains are wired stronger commitment to the tribe than to ourselves. Mm -hmm. So if you join up with a few people and say, hey, let's talk every Wednesday at 830 p.m. <laughs> right. you, you might actually For do example. it. Yeah, you might actually do it instead of saying, hey, I should stream every Wednesday at 830 p.m. Right. Because it's easy. That's a good to, point. Yeah, I'll, I'll just do it next week, right? Exactly. There's always a next week. Yeah. 